We have made it to Pickwick Lake State Park. And uh, this is only about 60 miles from where we just left. Uh, this site is shaded this time, so we're not going to be in the full sun. The uh, sites are a little bit dated, but uh, hey, it works. You'll notice I am down in front as far as I can go. I can't go any lower. So, just a general question. First timers may say, well, what if you can't go any lower and you're, you're tilted this way or tilted that way? Well, what you'd have to do is go ahead and use your, uh, your blocks and make a ramp underneath your wheels so that you back up on it. And then when you lower the front, you'll be able to level out. Uh, it's the only way you can do it. And if it's too steep, you may just have to get another site or figure something else out. Anyway, curious on this one, the uh, water is on this side, so I had to run my hose that way. And it, it fits. It's, that's my 25 foot 0G. And it works out okay. Really pretty in here. Uh, for some reason I like this one. Uh, not, not a bunch of clutter and dead limbs and just build up, accumulation of, of stuff. And uh, the park coming in looked gorgeous. It looked absolutely beautiful. So we'll take you around the park to show you what it looks like. And hopefully we get no bad storms tonight. I'm down here uh, just north of the, uh, the uh, park office, which is over there. And this road... 128 goes north to Savannah. I'm not sure what they have over on that yellow buoyed section, but we're over there. And I, uh, fish, maybe? I, I don't know. Looks like a little swimming area here. The uh, It rained heavy last night. I mean, all it just seemed like it rained all night. Thunder boomers, it was crazy. But uh, the water looks to be up quite a bit. So, but this is a big picnic and swimming area down here. Uh, I see a lot of tables all up and down through there. It's just up um, off to the left over there at the swimming area. It looks like there's a pier here. I don't know if it's for fishing or loading up on boats. But there's another swimming area over here. Looks like one out over on that area too. And then, uh, these got to be apartments, regular, or one heck of a big motel, I'm not sure which. We'll drive around front, we'll see what it is. But boy, they have a great view. It goes on quite a ways over there. And this is a little more east from the park office. They have uh, some tennis courts here. They're lighted, so they probably have switches you can turn on at night. Basketball hoop down that way. It looks like a half court. And then I can see the top of the uh, marina over there. So lake on both sides. And uh, uniquely enough, it must have been here before the park was built. There is a uh, cemetery up here, Pickwick uh, Cemetery. Very interesting, but boy. It's big to drive around here. A lot of biking, though. Up the aviary, and they do have some birds up here. Um, it looks like a hawk to me. Kind of sounds like one. And then over here they have a black vulture. I have not seen a black vulture before, so. Hey, bud. How you doing? Huh? Yeah. What's up? Yeah, you're getting up here to get some food, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not going to feed you. And then there's uh, another birdcage there. And another, I think, three over there. Yeah, they've got a, uh, a horned, uh, a barred owl there. Turkey vulture. And an eastern screech owl. Just a little guy inside that box. Uh, 
not sure if you can see him or not. I hope. He's cuter than a bug's ear. And then in here we have a tufted, tuft-eared, tufted owl. Oh, again, uh, that's right up here by the office. There's the uh, office over there. And it does say post office, so I'm not sure if they have a post office inside or not. That way's north. That's where we turn to go over towards the hotel and the swimming areas. I'm down by the marina right now, and I saw the sign. There's a laundry mat. And they have uh, two washers and two dryers. One's out of order, but at least they look pretty darn clean. So I wanted to come down here and see what the uh, marina looked like. I have no desire to own a boat, drive a boat, use a boat, or to go lake fishing. And But I'm drawn to boats and water. And I think, well, I know it's because I grew up as a kid, up to eight years old, in southern Texas around Galveston and Lamarck and uh, we went down to the beach and I remember going down to the piers and the smell of fresh food and fries and all that good stuff. So they have a, uh, a store inside where you can get beer and ice so you don't have to leave the premise if you need to get beer. But there's some pretty doggone big boats on this place. I'm up at the uh, top of the campground now on the west side. There's only one bathroom here. There's a playground right there. Uh, where you check in is right up this way. And uh, I thought we'd better just check out the men's room for you real quick here. And it actually is very clean in here. Very nice. It's done a great job. So we have a... Uh, two pots and a handicap. Let's check where the showers are. Yeah, there's uh, four four showers back here. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Ah, yeah. You don't have to pay. Cool, these are really clean. They even have an AC unit in here. Or maybe that's a heater AC combined. Very good, guys. Nice job, Pickwick. So, uh, guys, off to the left, right over here, are sites 28 through 48. I just drove down through there, and it's it's pretty um, wooded, and the camp sites are not really good at all, or anything over uh, maybe 20 feet. It's pretty. Some of them are really have a heavy incline, and I think Tennessee tells you what the incline, if it's slight, level, or moderate on their website. Pay attention to them because some of those, were, one of them was severe. I couldn't believe it. So I'll look down 17 through 27 for you. Uh, yeah, looking down through here, that's basically a car site, a tent site maybe. But this is uh, pretty steep going up the hill for these sites too. So over in the area where we are, um, we're in site four. Those are way better for the bigger rigs because you're just not going to even... Nice. Some of these guys are in here. I see a few campers over there, but uh, no, this, this is not the better area. I'm up here uh, by the check-in where you pull off from the road, come in to uh, check in if needed, maybe in the future when they're really running. Bathrooms are down that way I just showed you. Um, I did see this inland trail loop, uh, two miles. So, we'll, uh, I was just going to walk down a little. I think it comes out right down behind our camper. I've seen a couple of bikes, and I'm pretty sure that's where he goes, is right behind our trailer. I'm still on that trail down there, but I wanted to show you Site 3. If you're uh, considering this one, it does have a nice long back end, almost flat, but here's a big lump of tree roots right there. So you would have to put your axles or your wheels back here 
So just keep that in mind for your unit if you're uh, booking Site 3 and the trail is going just right back there along behind the uh, campers. So I, uh, I'll in, insert a picture of these but uh, you can see the area where we drove around just a while ago and here is uh, here's the campground we're staying in. Now here's a blow up of that campground and you can see we're over here in number four and it goes through 14 and 15 and 16 are just along here but this route's the one I drove down and this one and they're pretty steep they're not as good I, I definitely recommend you look into 1 through 13 if you have a 20 foot uh, camper and up you'll have adequate space and a little less incline well we're gonna wrap this up here at uh, Pickwick Landing State Park um, I think I pretty well covered the campground for you guys to see what all there is to do and we've enjoyed our stay here uh, it's been hot and muggy but that's summertime in Tennessee I think um, the best or the highlight of the whole stay here was going to Shiloh and uh, to the Shiloh uh, National uh, Military Park and you could have like I said easily spent all day there it was amazing and it's only about uh, 15 minutes north uh, very easy to get through uh, get to and then when we came back we just kept on going south a little uh, further to Corinth and Corinth has a nice interpretive center there and uh, we did both of those in the same day so it was a lot of standing well not a whole lot but uh, still a lot of lot to take in a great deal of history and it was amazing so the park here has been just ultra quiet um, there's only a few campers around but the spacing is really nice because you never do see or hear anybody and it's so warm everyone's pretty much staying in or they're leaving the park and uh, this area campground and they're going out to uh, the beach or whatever they do probably boating that kind of thing so I would highly recommend this park it is really nice be careful on uh, selecting the slope on your campsite so I believe Tennessee was really good it had the grades it told what the slope was like and uh, pay attention to that because it could be a little difficult for you and there's room to park your vehicle kind of at a cockeye or on the side a little bit if you're long so that should work out all right um, other than that this was a, a great trip we're on to one more Tennessee park and another after that and that and that so <laughs> we just keep going uh, Y'all get out there, have a great time, be safe, and travel well.